Greetings, family. How y'all doing out there? This is Big Thirsty of the Big Thirsty Show. I got my main man in the studio. He don't want his name said. He don't want his location given. But he is in the house. So we got ambulance chasers with us today. So if anything pop off, we got back up. But uh, anyway, we about to get back up to the news. And the news is that uh, Sean P. Diddy, Puffy, No Diddy, Brotherly Love, Combs, then hit the news again uh, with a $100 million default judgment. That's a hundred millies, not a thou wow, y'all. The man ain't even showing for court. Now, um, we going to dive deep into this situation. Y'all grab your popcorn. Y'all get your stuff ready for y'all to pay attention in class and take notes to this because you don't want to be like Puffy. All right, so here's the rundown. A Michigan judge just hit no diddy with a judgment of over a hundred million dollars. He didn't even show up for court. Uh, the case was filed by a man named Derek Lee Cardello Smith, who claims that Diddy drugged and assaulted him back in 1997 at a Detroit, Michigan after party. You know, it's cold as heck in Detroit. So, you know, they was drinking and smoking. Uh, the plaintiff currently is serving prison time and says what happened was on Diddy's tour. Spice drink from Puffy Combs and was violated unconsensually. Now, since the Diddy Do It man didn't show up for a virtual hearing, the judge has issued an default judgment, meaning that he automatically is on the hook for a hundred million dollars. That's wild, right? But wait, the Diddy's man legal team is clapping back. They said they was never hit with the correct service of process, claiming that Diddy was never served the lawsuit papers, and that this guy, Cordello Smith, is a convicted felon running a scam. Diddy's team said they're moving fast uh, to get this judgment thrown out. And he got even more reasons to chase the ambulance. This isn't the first time Diddy has come up in legal trouble. His ex-girlfriend Cassie dropped a bombshell lawsuit. He settled right away for 30 millies. And, uh, you know, accusations of physical and sexual abuse. Uh, the video uh, that, that got leaked. You know, that just made everything more and more complicated for the legal uh, um, situation of the ditster. And uh, don't forget about Kim's memoirs that just came to surface after decades and decades. Man, you got a grand jury um, uh, uh, leading. Everything is leading to indictment. So, uh, hey, Diddy, man, uh, keep your nose clean. Keep your head up. And think about changing the name of that record label because it's just not a good look, man. Yeah, this is Big Thirsty. And before I sign out, I would like to send out special respect to the legendary, the legendary King of Zamunda, James Earl Jones, the inspiration to us all. 